I am, look, it's always makes me happy when somebody that's dastardly evil, conniving, basically uh, a stank ass bitch gets her comp uppance or, you know, her little plans or her little plots or dirty little liar uh, affairs and uh, mean girl uh, attitude back parts in her face and that person is of course Marjorie Taylor Greene um Marjorie is maybe behind her icon Donald John Trump she might be the second or third most hated uh, person in the country right now but uh Recently, she got served because she tried to um, trick a venue into hosting a, or allowing her to host a celebration of January 6th in honor uh, of the patriots that are still locked up behind the January 6th insurrection. In her eyes, the, you know, the patriots and political prisoners and, government is doing them an injustice and basically most of all when it comes to law and order anybody in Marjorie Taylor Greene's club is above the law the law doesn't they can do what they want to because they are who they are and democracy and rule of law is starting to affect them negatively they cannot they cannot win they cannot impose their will over everybody else under the current political situation under the current legal situation so they want to change everything Donald Trump was their method their transportation the Trump train was their vehicle to overthrowing democracy or lessening the, the, the power of the Constitution and increasing the power of the presidency, the authoritarian, or maybe even going into a full dictatorship. This is what Marjorie Taylor Greene has been about. This is what Marjorie Taylor Greene talks about. Uh, she, her, she talks about being a patriot at the same time talking shit about people that enlist in the military and then try to blame the Biden administration for having a woke military and that's why the enlistment quotas are not being met. At the very least, she's a, a complex person and at the very least, you have to understand that her complexity is generated by perhaps mental instability. But in any in any way you look at her, in any way you judge her, um, she has proven to be a factor in the extremely dangerous and precarious position that democracy holds as the type of government that the United States of America clings to. Now, what makes me so, I guess, satisfied, smiling, you know, right? I, like a lot of people tell me you never smile. Well, one thing is because there's not a lot of things that make me smile. And maybe because no matter how deviated I may be, I enjoy seeing Marjorie Taylor Greene giving her little manipulations shoved right back up her ass and there's nothing sexual about that um this did she try to take a venue and involve it in something political I mean I, they had to know that it was political just because she's political so they knew they were getting involved in politics 
But to tell them that it was a book signing and then send out public invitations saying that basically you're throwing a, a anniversary celebration of the January 6th riot. Not the fact that they lost. You're celebrating the rioters. You're celebrating the reason they rioted. And you expect everybody to be okay with that. The people that, that, that started this whole thing were people that she sent invitations to. And this indicates a couple of things. One, there is a particular group or mentality of person that follow Marjor Marjorie Taylor Greene. There is a particular group of people that salivate over everything that Marjorie, it's not a large group, but they do salivate over everything that she says and does. But Marjorie Taylor Greene has not learned how to, or has failed to understand that she cannot overestimate the value of that group. The venue said, no, hell no, we're not doing it. You're not going to have a celebration for people that basically try to overthrow the government in the name of Trump. You're not going to have that kind of celebration here. You can have your book signing, but there's no January 6th anything. No, we, we you know, we're not, you, you're not going to, you're not going to have no banners. You're not. This is just inappropriate. You want to sign your book, which you know nobody's going to show up to anyway. Fine. But you're not going to have a party in honor of people that try to basically overthrow the government. Now, America has this, has this problem with honoring anti-heroes, people that, you know, basically try to overthrow the government for whatever reason. Namely, people like uh, Robert E. Lee uh, and all of his picket Jackson military installations named after them, ships named after them, schools named after slave owners in minority neighborhoods where the descendants of those very same of the slaves that those slave owners owned had to go to school every day. And be taught the fucked up history or not taught any history at all about how those persons whose name of the school that they go to, what they actually did back in the day what made them big ballers back in the day but Marjorie Taylor Greene is one of these narrow minded people that believe that the world belongs to them just because they are them. Marjorie Taylor Greene is a person that believes that she doesn't have to earn relevance. She doesn't have to achieve anything to have relevance. She believes that she should have relevance just because she's ignorant as Marjorie Taylor Greene. She believes that her being in the House of Representatives is just as important as anyone else. But she has contributed nothing but motions to uh, impeach Joe Biden, motions to impeach uh, Mayorkas. She's made clown shows out of every committee that they finally allowed her to sit on because remember her first term, she wasn't allowed to sit on. She was kicked off all her committees because she was such a blatant QAnon conspiracy theorist. And now her biggest achievements uh, sitting on committees is one, being laughed at by the entire house when she banged the gavel to call for decorum in the house and two <coughs> for showing ah. of Hunter Biden to all the representatives 
that were in that hearing and anyone that was watching C-SPAN at the time. And she is proud of each and every one of them. Everything she does, she... It is going to be good for the country. She already knows it's going to be good for Marjorie Taylor Greene, but she honestly believes that it's going to be good for the country. Everything has to stay a certain way for Marjorie to have the relevance of being Marjorie just because she is Marjorie. I know, it's tongue twisted. It's a little hard to follow. But give us some thought. You, you'll get there. I promise you. I promise you. These people are existing on nothing and they are being successful at ramming it down the throats of enough citizens of this country to keep them in office where they could continue to try to establish their relevance on a daily basis by destroying the country. They want to change, they, 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 and it's not a change. They, they, they want to create change, and it's not a change for the betterment of the majority of all people the majority of the time. They want to change it, to make it, to put this country on lockdown for people just like them, and to give other people less hope or no hope of equality. Where anything that's good, where anything that is pleasurable is theirs first. And if anybody else gets anything, it's because of what they leave behind. That's what trickle-down e economics is all about. You put everything at the top and whatever we don't fuck up or whatever we honestly decide to let go, that's what you get. That's what you live off of. This is the mentality of Marjorie Taylor Greene. This is the mentality of people like Marjorie Taylor Greene. And Lake Ridge or Westlake, I'm sorry, Westlake, uh, that venue, they just smack that attitude in the head with a baseball bat. And I'm happy about that. I'm smiling about that. It is time for people on all different levels to stand up and tell these idiots no. You know, this is, it. democracy allows you to have your ideas. Democracy allows you to have the opportunity to uh, present your ideas to the rest of the country. But democracy also says that when you are rejected by a majority of the country, you cannot use illegal means to overcome that rejection or overcome that majority. And this is where people like Marjorie Taylor Greene come up short because they are quick to point out when other people break the law even if they break the law in connection with things that they think. Not that Marjorie Taylor Greene thinks is good, but the people that break the law, when they do it in connection with things that they think are good for them and people like them, like the BLM riots. Marjorie Taylor Greene and her people call for maximum punishment, call for everything almost up to and including executions because all of a sudden now anything they say in the cause of civil rights is anti-patriotic and un-American. But when Marjorie Taylor Greene and her clowns screw up, fuck up, and put the country into chaos, she wants to hold a celebration. And she's still batshit crazy enough to think that the rest of the country should put up with there must be hope for the rest of the country because everybody's not willing to put up with it. I know, it's a lot to meditate on, a lot to think about, but for once, let's smile a little. 
Audrey Taylor Green got put back into her box where she belonged once again. And until the next incident, peace out and God bless. <laughs>